This better be Illinois plates on a Buick Riviera. Yeah, at the restaurant. That's good, Norman. Nice work. You better eat that burger, because we're not stopping again. I had a hiding space down here. I used to flip out the baseboard and leave stuff in it, you know, toy soldiers and marbles. Are you telling that story for my benefit? Because A, I don't believe it, and B, I don't care. And I must have fixed it. I don't think this is the place you're looking for, Ian. Yeah. Just, who cares, you know? You remember when you said the syrup was always warm in the afternoon? Well, that would indicate westerly facing windows, which would mean the highway had to run north and south. The most direct route to South Bend would have been Highway 12, a slower road, which would have put you past Hillsdale by approximately one o'clock. Now, if I recall from the map correctly, that highway dips south about 60 miles west of that community. So actually, Ian, I think you're off by about 45 miles. Do you believe everything people tell you? Huh? How do you get through a day? Did I tell you he was yanking your chain? My mistake. Take care of him. You look after the car. All by myself alone, and I'm dreaming hey, hey, of you. All alone by myself, you know I'm dreaming of you. Yeah, go get the car, man. Well, such is my situation, that's all that I can do. As the wind blows, baby, and as the case may be. State Police Post in Battle Creek. Forget it! Ray, we have to report this. Look, Frazier, there must have been a dozen people back at that roadhouse. I guarantee that somebody called it in. If we go in there, they're gonna keep us there for hours making our reports. Ray, they opened fire inside a restaurant. We can't weigh that against a couple hours driving time. Okay, here's what happens. We go in there, they call Welsh. I don't get to go to Florida, and you don't get your prisoner to Canada. Still, I, th I think I see them. All right, look, we can't just pull off and start driving around in circles and looking for help. I mean, how long do you think it'll take them to catch up to us? Well, if we keep going in a straight line, we're not exactly going to be difficult to find. Oh, they're behind that truck. I think they turned right. Where? Back there. McDonald, you want to tell us who wants you dead, excluding the immediate occupants of this car? You wouldn't believe me. That I believe. They're rogue Mounties. The RCMP does not want me to testify. Well, I don't think they can be Mounties, Ian. The man in the hat appears to be in his mid-50s, so he would have had to join up when the height requirements were still in place and would have narrowly missed qualifying. His nickname is Stumps. He chased the guy to a lumber mill and lost three inches off his legs. Here, don't slap him, shoot him. All right, fine. You want the truth? You heard about the Basque Separatist movement? Next! All right, fine. What the real truth here it is. Those guys are part of the Canadian mob. There's no such thing. 
On the contrary, Ray, organized crime is a growing problem in Canada. Oh yeah, what are we talking about here? Conspiracy to commit jaywalking? Organized littering? The guy in the hat? Danny the Bull Brock. One of his guys sticked him on a counter. He took him into an alley and shot him eight times. Was that one time with eight bullets or eight separate times? Because in America, after the third trip down the same alley, we'd start to get a little suspicious. I happened to be looking out my window into the alley. Yeah, what, all eight times? Hey, I saw him do it. So the cops found out and they made me testify. Oh, and on the stand, you, you wait, don't tell me you lied? Look, these guys can get you anywhere, okay? I was protected around the clock and I still managed to find a note under my pillow. So, I fingered somebody else, except that he happened to be in jail at the time of the murder. Yeah, now that was very entertaining. So what's your next story? We're being pursued by plain clothed Toreadors? Ray, this road isn't on the map. It's going east, and that's all I need to know. All right, now here's a little trick that I'll teach you in driver's head. Where are they? Where are they? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? I was a driving instructor once. Shut up! All right, now you two rock back and forth when I gun the engine. No, 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 you're just digging yourself in deeper. I'm afraid he's right, Ray. Looks worse than it really is. My shoe! Mother Nature just ate my shoe! You want me to get it for you, Ray? No, what I want is for us to get out of this ditch, oh. drop this psychopath off, and drown my sorrows in coconut milk. This is what I want, okay? This is what I really want. And a flip-flop. Okay, you two push it out and I'll rock us out of here. You're taking me to jail and you expect me to help you out? I don't think so. Just get back there and push. Well, we can't actually make him do that, Ray. Forced labor is against the Geneva Convention. Yeah, well, somebody's got to push and somebody's got to drive, and I only got one shoe. I'll drive. The hell you will. Ah, suit yourself. Ray, Ray. All right, all right. We'll push it out. Do you expect me to drive like that? Yeah, but not too far. All right, on three! Broken. They probably doubled back, son of a... I said three! My foot cramped. All right. Oh, Ray, look. Look, I think I found... All right. I think we should have enough traction here. Okay. Let's try it again on one. You better do these things. You can go to hell! Breaker! I want my leg out! They know where we are. What? There's a tracking device on the car. If we don't get to them fast, they'll find him, they'll kill him. It's not gonna happen, Frazier, because I got first dibs. Let's go find my shoe. Um, about your shoe. I got him. They're heading north. Do you know how many mint condition 71 Buick Rivieras are left on the road? Almost none. This man stole something from me that is almost irreplaceable. And easily identifiable, which means he can't use the freeways. 
He knows Brock is after him. He has to assume we'll have put out an APB. Bro's only option is to find some place to hide until dusk and then travel at night. Well, that narrows down a search to every barn, garage, or haystack in the greater Michigan area. Every barn has a farmer, Ray, and every garage has an owner. Without time and friends, it's not that easy to find some place to hide. He's wanted on both sides of the border by both sides of the law. He's got nowhere to run. If he dents it, I'll kill him. My father said something that's always stuck with me, Ray. Your father never shut up, did he? He said a man with no future will always run to his past. And when did this come up, Fraser? Were you sitting around at breakfast when he came up with these things? Or did he come running into your room and just blurt them out? Ray, there's no need to be sarcastic. No, I'm just curious. How did he work these things into everyday conversation? Did he say, son, did you see the size of that moose? And by the way, a man with no future will always run to his past. Ray, I'm sorry about your shoe. I thought you didn't want it anymore. You know what my father used to say? A man without a car is nothing. And I don't want to be nothing anymore, Frazier. It's hard on my socks. You went that way. Why? Does a man with no future always turn left? No, he's gonna find the pancake house. There is no pancake house. It's a lie, just like everything else that's come out of his mouth. I don't think so, Ray. People tell lies for a number of different reasons. Because they're ashamed, because they're insecure, sometimes because they're in trouble. But they always hope to gain something from their lie. Money, prestige, pity, sometimes even freedom. And his story about the pancake house, he stood nothing to gain by it. He told it because it's true. He let us see a little glimpse of who he really is. And then he got angry because we saw that. That pancake house exists. It may be the only place around here where he feels safe. I think he's gone to find it. I bet he used my lighter. All right, here we go. Need a lift? Oh, yes, thank you. Not you. Which way are you going? Well, we're traveling together, ma'am. Did you? I'll go without him. Not likely. Too bad. If you ever get to Miami, just ask for Rhonda. You see that? Women always judge you by your shoes. Well, I don't think she was sincere in her invitation, Ray. I mean, how could a young woman possibly be known by her first name in such a large city? Frazier, your father taught you nothing, you know that? Okay, enough is enough. I'm the law, and I need a lift. Uh, Ray, I don't think he can possibly read your badge from this distance. Ah! But I could be wrong. Well, they can read this. Ray, brandishing a weapon is not going to encourage motorists to come to our aid. Frazier, look at me. I have one shoe. I am covered in mud, and I'm standing with a wolf and a guy dressed like who knows what. No one in their right mind is going to stop and give us a lift without the threat of deadly force. Hey, you folks stranded, eh? Canadian? Go on, eh? How'd you know? Now, we're officers of the law, sir, and we're pursuing an escaped perjurer. We'd very much appreciate a lift. Hey, well, hop on in. Thank you kindly. <laughs> Sick country you have, Frazier. Which way? In that way. I can't see when you point in the back seat. Left. Here? Yes, here. Uh, it would be a pancake house off Highway 12 near Hillsdale. Well, we're headed for a mall right near there. You have such wonderful malls in the States. Yeah, they mapped out the whole route on our home computer, eh? <laughs> Three states, six malls, one day. Oh, goodness, will you look at that? More stranded motorists with guns. Floor it, buddy, floor it! America's just getting more violent all the time. Yeah, it's television, eh? That's why I like our fine Canadian programming. You guys need some help?
you guys need a ride, we're coming right past here on the way back. Oh, thanks. We'll be fine. If you're ever in Sarnia, drop by. Make it kind of. Thanks. Fraser, if I'm ever in Sarnia, shoot me with a big gun. Will there do. she is. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Did he hurt you? Did he hurt you? I didn't even see anything. I'm sorry? In the alley. I was in my apartment. I just didn't look out my window. Didn't see anything, didn't hear anything. But you told the police you did. I came around looking for witnesses. I was there when it happened, so they said I must have seen something. Couldn't help myself. Look at this. I, I thought I, I'd stash something valuable here. You know, some uh, money, some jewelry. Look at this junk. You know, we would travel for hours to get here. He'd say maybe two words to me. Then we'd get here and he'd give me some money and tell me he'd be back. He left me here for hours, sometimes overnight. You know, the only reason that he took me was so that my mother wouldn't know he was cheating on her. And she would always ask me what we did, where we went, and he would tell me what to say. Now, she had to be the most gullible person in the world. I mean, I could have told her that we went to the moon, and she would have believed me. Not too bright. She thought I was gonna be somebody. I think that you would be proud. What do you think? Is that why you said you'd seen the murder? To be somebody? Look, I'm just telling you an amusing anecdote. This is a very, very sad story, my friend. Hoping maybe you would feel sorry for me and let me go. But I'll tell you something. <clears throat> you do have to appreciate the irony of the situation. I mean, I tell a lie and say that I saw Danny the Bull do it and I go free. I tell the truth and I saw absolutely nothing. And they're never gonna believe me. I'll go to jail for perjury. That's the story of my life. Dead, but they'll have really poor visibility. Okay. I'll cover. You go out the back door and circle around. No, there is no back door. Yeah, like I'm supposed to believe that. You're right. I'm on their side. Any ideas? The only access are the side and front windows, and they have those covered. You know, Ray, if you could lay down enough withering fire, I think I can make it to the car. I only got one bullet left. That's all we're gonna need. You have to get them to line up straight. No, no. When I was flipping through the service manual of your car, I discovered that your gas tank is only 11 inches from your rear fender. You opened my manual? Only for three seconds. Now, one bullet surely can penetrate the tank and spark an explosion. I was right. Yeah, luckily you'll both be taking that information to the grave. What we need to do is get the other two close enough to be hit by the explosion. Well, there's two guys behind their car. Why can't I just shoot it? Well, I didn't read their manual, Ray. I can get them to the car. Oh, yeah, like we can trust you. Look, I was just offering to help. If you don't want me to, fine. Oh, feeling a little remorse, are we? A little guilt for leaving us stranded out in the middle of nowhere to freeze to death? 
people, it's too late, pal. God could see right through your feeble attempts at redemption when you think that the end is near. Trust me, it won't do you any good. And you're speaking from personal experience? Look, I haven't done a whole hell of a lot in my life that benefited anybody but myself. And for once, I was going to do something to help somebody else. Forget I mentioned it. Oh, very poignant. I got tears in my eyes. The only problem is, you and I both know if we let you out, you cut a deal with them to let you go and get us killed. I don't think so, Ray. I think we can trust him. No, you can't. Yes, we can. Is there no other way? No. Although, you know, maybe it would be easier if I shot your car. No, no, no. I can't do it. Uh, no funny business, or I missed the car name straight for you. Gabish? Mr. Brock, it's Ian. How you doing? Okay, here's the deal. I come out there with the car keys, and you let me disappear. I just go and I don't testify. They tell their bosses I escaped, and everybody goes away happy. You think you can live with that? Let me think about it. Dump him in the trunk. Okay, Ian. As soon as you get close enough, dive for cover. He'll shoot. Okay. Of course, you know, if you'd rather that I shot the car. Just get out the door. Closer. It's almost there. My hand is shaking. Right now would be quite a good time. You all right? Yeah, yeah. I used to be stunned there for a while. Stop at the customs booth. I'll explain the situation. Yeah, we do this all the time. Just let me do the talk. You know, nothing to declare. Well, 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 I, I, as a matter of fact... Get out of the car, please. Well, they think there was a short in the electrical system. Uh, no, I'm fine, sir. Well, it may take some time to find some of the parts, sir. Yeah, thank you. Send the lane to Miami. I'm so sorry, Ray. Would it be against the law to get us a cruiser? Trying to decide what you're gonna do? Between lying and going to jail, uh, that's a tough one. It is, actually. You can keep deceiving people so they think you are somebody, or you can be somebody. Everybody needs to be somebody sometime. There was a person your mother thought you could be. What do you think he'd do? Any trouble with them? 
No. Okay, let's get on the road then. I'll see you in a few years. What's the quickest way to get back on the highway? Oh, don't worry, I'll show you. Make a left. Ray, I think we should have turned them over to the Canadian authorities. Hey, if they want them, they can dig them out of an American jail. Come on, stick out your thumbs. Are you certain all the rental cars were taken? Hey, don't blame me. I never heard of your damn maple syrup day. I'm sure it's this way. Make, make a left. Now I got it. Straight ahead, straight ahead. Northern sky will carry you away You know you have to leave here You wish that you could stay There's four directions on this map But you're only going one way 